Hi everyone, welcome to Creatively Gracious. If you're new here, my name is Cecilia. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you would consider subscribing. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I really do appreciate each and every one of you stopping by to spend some time with me. So today guys, we are going to be decorating a currently page for February. And I'm gonna be using this Craft Mart's Seasons and Holidays and the Live Love Posh Functionally Chic Red Blooms. And then I have these little trackers here that I got from a Walmart journal pack. So let's go ahead and get started here. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I usually do not decorate these, but I wanted to start decorating them in 2024. So that's what I'm doing because I am trying to get more use out of my vertical layout. And this, since this is part of that planner, I figured I would use it and just to really track some things and jot stuff down here. So I thought these go well with it. The pink is a little bit different, but I figured it would work. So I think I'm gonna use these with this sticker book here. So that is my plan for this spread. And then it has some washi here too. So I think I'm gonna use this washi, whoops. So how are you guys doing? How are things going? I can't believe we're already moving into February. It goes by so, so fast. Let's see, maybe I can put this here and then put the floral there. Let's try that. I might have to bring in a bigger floral, but I think I want to separate this out. And I am trying to use my stash up this year, so that's why I'm pulling out all these different books that I have. And that doesn't mean that I'm not going to buy anything because I, I still will, but I do want to use up a lot of my stash because I have so much that I've bought over the years. So I think this one I'm just gonna set right here. I think that looks cute there. And then um, I only have pink trackers here and I want to track three things. So I'm going to pull them in. And these are handy trackers. Um, again, I got them in a Walmart journal kit some time ago and they were on clearance. So I think I paid a dollar and it had a lot of different stuff in it. So it was actually a great, great find. So I think these trackers, I'm trying to think where I want to put them. I don't know if I want to scatter them or if I want to just set them like maybe, maybe up here. Well, we'll see. I'm going to figure that out, but I'm going to bring in some more decor here because this book has a lot of cute stuff. So let's see what I want to bring in. There's actually two sheets, so I could bring bring in this and put it up here just to cover that up and then maybe this pink one. Oh, I like this one with the telephone I think I'm gonna bring that one in and put this over here it does say priorities but hmm maybe I'll no I'll just cover it up since I covered the other one up we'll leave it like that and then here's a telephone again that's really cute I like the little truck, so I'm going to bring the truck in. And I'm going to set that. I wish it could fit. Oh, it can fit right here. So let's set that. Oh, it's going to cut off the heart. Let me see if I can move it over just to, well, it's fine. I'll leave it there. And that's really cute. And let's see what else we can bring in. I like this thing here, but I don't like that it has that tag. So what you can always do if you don't like the tag is just cut that piece off. Let me find my scissors. I'm not sure where they went, so I had to grab another pair. So you just have to cut this off. If you don't want the tag portion, you just cut it off and it works out. So I do like that, the little typewriter says, you are just my type. And I might've cut it a little crooked. So I think I wanna put that well, I need to bring some more florals in. So where did I do it here? The florals. Let me grab another floral. I'm going to move these out of the way because I don't need them anymore. And let's bring this guy in. I think maybe I want this one here like that. And then I'll put this down here. Or do I want this? Maybe I'll bring this and set it here. 
instead. Right here on the corner, since it is a corner, it's like a edge piece, so I might as well put it on the edge. I think, yeah, that looks cute. And then I'll put this here. Oh, I need to remember, I need the, um, I need these guys, so let's see how I can, I think I'm going to set one right here. And what I'm going to track here is I'm going to track my exercise and then my Bible reading. So I think I want to put this one up here like this. I think that's a little crooked. My Bible reading. And then this one is going to be for my mindful eating because I want to get back to the mindful eating. Not that I got too far away from it, but I did get a little away from it. So I want to get back to that and I want to be able to track it. So that's what that's for. And then maybe I'll just set this one right here in the middle. I think that will look cute. And again, I'm just really trying to use this to use up the space and add more. Instead of adding another planner, I'm just trying to use what I have and, and make the most out of one planner. So that's my whole idea with this. It's looking cute. I like the little trackers. I do like the phone, but since I have the phone up there, I don't know if I want to pull in another phone. Let's see what else we can bring in here. We have these little hearts, so I think I'll bring this one in. I don't know if I should put it there. Hmm. Let's see what else. Uh, this one has its own florals, too. I didn't even realize that. I'm trying to think what else I want to put here, because I think I want something there. Maybe I'll bring this little box. I think I'm going to pull this one here. It says, sending you lots of love. And then this one, I think I'm going to... Where do I want it? Maybe I'll just set it right here in the middle. like that and I still have these hearts actually let's see maybe I'll bring in this smaller heart because there's a smaller one there yeah we have this here so I think I'm going to bring this one in instead because it looks like it's candies and I'm going to set that right here in the middle give it some decor and then we have this here I don't know if this is oh no it's not one sticker I think I'm just going to set these around here like one there, all these little hearts. Maybe one over here. We have a lot of them. Um, we also have these little strawberries, which are cute. I think I'm gonna bring them in too. I'll put one right here. Chocolate covered strawberries. I love chocolate covered strawberries. So let's put these in here and then I'll just grab some more of these little hearts. Oh, there's a lot of strawberries there. I didn't see that. Is this a washi? Maybe this is a washi. Let's see. Oh no. Okay, we already have an XO, but I'll put this one. Let me see. What do I have? I'll put a red one. Like right here, that's cute. And then this dark pink one, I think we need this one. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for that. Let me see, do I need one over here? Let's put, well, that's the same one. Let's bring this one over here. And then, let's see, oh, they're all the same. Maybe I'll just bring, hmm. Maybe I'll bring these little arrows in. So I want to put something right here. That's cute. And then there's one more small one. I think I'll bring that one over here to this side. Okay. And let's see what else is over here. There's a cupcake. It's really cute. Let's put the cupcake in there too. We'll put it right here in the middle. Mm, 
No, I'm going to set it right here. It looks cute. Okay, I think that's going to be it, guys. So, I didn't use too many florals. I could have put some more. Let's see. Do I want some more florals up here? Maybe I can put one up there. But I'd have to cut one. So, let's see. Maybe if I cut this one. See, if I cut this one in half, it might work. Yeah, let's do that. Just to give it some decor up here. Whoops. Because I didn't think. Uh, let's see. Oh, look what I did. I'm going to have to leave it like that now because I just tore it. Okay, that's fine. I, I cut that off. I mean, I tore that, so I'm just going to cut this off now. Whoops. And I cut a piece of the paper. I always do that. And then this piece I'll just put over here. Like that. I just think I needed something at top because I forgot to put florals up there. Okay, that's going to be it. That worked out. So that is my Currently page for February. Like I mentioned, I am trying to use my Currently pages, trying to use my Monthly pages more this year because last year I did not use them. And I'm really just trying to incorporate other things that I want to track on these pages that I may have put in my like wellness, fitness. So those type of things, I'm really trying to use those things in my bills. My bills goes on my monthly sheet. So instead of adding additional pages for that type of stuff, I'm just really trying to use what I already have. So I think this came out cute and it's a great way for me to track my exercise, my Bible study, and my mindful eating. And then I can put my top three over here for February and then I can just write some little notes or tasks that I need to get done. And then of course I can add birthdays in here because there are, my son's birthday is in February so I do need to document that somewhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of my Currently page. And let me know how you're using your Currently page. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. Stay creative. Be gracious. And I will plan again with you soon.